Welcome back to Midford Pottery. Another throne video for you tonight. So tonight we will have, we're going big again, just over four pound of clay, two kilograms. Always a good challenge. So here we go. Get you in, in the frame. That's it. So we're going to go for a pitcher slash jug shape. So here we go. Oh, that water's cold tonight. Oh, I should put warm water in there. Stuck to the wheel first. And that stuck and center up. Don't do many large lumps of clear, but. I do love the challenge, it's, uh, it's more physical than you think. That's it. And centre it down, here we go, ready, one, two, three, push. Nearly, not bad. Whew. How we're doing? I think we're there, actually. I think we're there. So, slow the wheel down a bit. And we'll break in. And because it's quite thick, we will check our depth. Let's see what we're doing. I think it looks a bit deep. Now we're still about, about an inch. So we'll go a bit more on that. Just a little bit more. Open it up a bit. Down there. Compact the bottom. I'll give that a check. Four thickness. Still looks quite thick. <laughs> About the same as last time. Thinner we go. Yeah, 
go for that. It is going to have a nice carved foot if, we're, if it succeeds. First lift, bit of brute force, and ignorance. Oh, down in the old mirror. I'm a bit wobbly, but I'll sort that out as we get further up. Right, we'll slow it down this time. And plenty of water on. Right, there we go for another lift. both sides. Still going a wee bit fast the wheel, I think, so to the top. And some of the water out and see what's happening. And we'll try and pinch a bit of height by nipping the bottom in. Lifting up like so. Get, get us a little bit of height. So, how are we doing for shape? Still got plenty of clay at the bottom to get up. So, let's have a go at getting some clay all the way from the bottom. Right, here we go. Always hard when your hands aren't working, when they're not stuck together. You're lifted, not too slow. 
possibly this is too slow you can end up running out of water So bad. Bad at all. I'm going to clean up and see what's going on. So, this was my last lump of clay out of this bag, which was a few balls of clay, and I put them all at one to go for a big throw because. Some earthenware clear which I've never used for a while. Which we're going to try and make some plant pots. I've done some small plant pots before, but never any decent sized ones. So now I've got a bit of confidence, I'm going to have a go for some plant pots. Now, what we're looking for down there. Right, so. I will just smooth that out a bit and get a little bit more height. Colour it in. Like so. so now I'll try and get that shape. So I want to belly it out and then up. See what? A lot of water in the bottom. Get the water out first. I know it's always how it seems to have to get the water out, then you put more water on it. Bit odd, but see if it's having a massive pool of water in the middle. Right, here we go, I'll try and get some shape. So hand in there and push in a bit at the bottom. So I'm not really pulling the clear this time, I'm just getting the shape. So I'm going to bulge out there to about there and then we're going to go back in. Flare the top out a bit as we go. We'll get a bit more flare on the next one. I'm getting there. Right, so this time to make it smooth, let me rib. That's it. We use a, a kidney rib on the outside. Get rid of, get it nice and smooth. Then we'll push it out a little bit more as well. Like I say, this is the hard bit because you tend to lose track of where your hand is inside. We go all the way up to that, where that rib is like that. Like so. Now what I want to do is collar this fella in because it's getting a bit wide. Like so. Make sure that's alright there. Right, so I think that's a decent enough shape now, so that bit will go out and want to go back in and out. So the plan is, we use the other side of the rib to push against it that way. How's that work? Come on, there we go. So push in like that. Push 
push it against the rib. Now, is that a jug shape? I suppose it's open to interpretation, like. It's not a bad shape, actually. Is it? It's not a bad shape. Probably go in a bit more here, I think. Looks good to me. It's good to me. So, show me leather. Finish this top edge off. Like so. Right. Trim the bottom bit off. this so and see what we're doing. Right. So we go in with a knife. All the way to the wheel. this off. That was a scary bit that, in case you knock it off centre. I must say I've had some, uh, I've had some very nice comments on my videos. From across the pond as well. So it's a proper international audience. So we'll put a little undercut on that. Like so. And use the old stick. We'll get a bit of this slip off. Stopping on the back anyway, so it's not a it's not a major thing. Getting the slip off, so we're not going to lift it off. Get our water out the inside. So. Where's my cloth? Wipe my hands. We'll cut it off and we'll give you a, a closer look. Cut off wire. Oh, moving slowly. Twisted cut off wire a la Simon Leach. Push down, keep it tight, push through, push through, and out the other side. That's it. See, it's not coming off the bat, so. We don't have to worry about that. Get a bit of this water out of the way. So. Okay, close up. 
let's have a look. So there you go. So bottom half trimmed, goes out, comes back into the neck, flares out a little bit. Inside, looking good. What we've got, can't see the marks on me tape on me ruler, but let's have a quick look. Let's see if we can get how big it is. So we've got what's that? About 21 centimetres. 21 centimetres. So not too bad out of it's a decent sized thing. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment below, all that YouTube stuff. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll try and update you when we do the handle and the decoration on this. I'm hoping to do a bit of a coloured slip on the outside so there might be a part two to this video. But thanks for watching. See you in the next video.